and welcome to Minecraft. I've been looking forward to this episode for so long. I can finally tell you what I'm actually building right here. What all the copper statues are leading to. We also made a bee farm so we can now keep these from oxidizing. I think we'll leave half oxidized and half unoxidized. Make it look really, really cool. And you've probably seen from the thumbnail and the title what I'm actually building in this episode. But I can't wait to actually tell you. I'm building a tower going all the way from here at Y78 to world height. The world build limit all the way up there. It's about like 300 to um, 350 blocks. I can't remember the exact number. But ever since they added 64 new blocks, I've always wanted to like build a, a tower going all the way up to world height. It's going to be massive. I've got all my bone meal and stuff ready to get the resources. I'm going to do a lot of tree farming. I'll probably time lapse all that so you guys don't have to worry. But that mountain, that mountain's probably like what? We're at 78. Probably like maybe 100 blocks higher. So 170. The tower's going to dwarf that mountain. That mountain's going to be dwarfed i'm also i also have something, something planned to build up there i don't want to spoil what i'm building so that's another episode i'm going to build that but this episode will be only building the tower because what i want to build up there is going to be pretty cool and i think we should get started so i'm going to do a quick build um resource gathering tile lapse so i hope you'll enjoy let's get to it let's go
resource gathering is done. Now we're here. Let's get started. We have all the blocks right here. We have the wood, which is the main block we'll be building with. We have kelp. Kelp's going to be for the bubble elevators. So to you can actually make source blocks with kelp. It's a way of getting like you know just make it super easy. And we also have all the glass we're going to need for the the bubble elevators. So we'll be able to look out at the world when we are going up and down the tower. So let's grab our wood mainly. Uh, yeah, not like that much. Let's grab. Oh, we'll grab a couple stacks and some glass. Boom, boom, boom. You know, actually, we should put the bubble elevators in first so we can have. So where should we have them? Should we have the bubble elevator here and here? Or should we have the glass, like, sticking out one? You know what? I'll have them in one, so... Soul sand there, and we'll have the mango block here. That does hurt you. Gotta remember that. Okay, let's dig up all the floor. Bam. Alright. It's a long way up. I'll show you me building, like, the, b the bottom part of it, and then we'll... And then we'll, um, you know, switch the time lapse. But let's go. Okay, so we are now a bunch of, a bunch, a bunch of Bruce, do the deuce, Bruce. I don't want my inventory to get too cluttered, so let's get started with it. Um, the floor actually, you know, what? I might make the floor um strip strip logs because strip logs look really nice. So if we grab that and go bam, bam, bam. Yeah, I really like strip logs. It looks like really good. All right, boom. There. All the way along. Look how cool that looks. That's the outside, you won't even see that, but might as well do it. Let me just right click with the, the axe. Okay, and right clicking. Awesome, and now we can add the glass will go here, so we have the glass there there. Now we want to start adding the logs. We'll have the first room probably be three high. I want to have like some I want to have some like headroom. Alright, so we're going to go bam bam all the way around. And this will go all the way to the sky limit which is going to be really cool and Hopefully we have enough blocks. If we don't, I'll just get some more. But we should be pretty good. So that's two, three. So we can now cap that off. Ooh. Bam, bam. Awesome. So now, that's the first layer done. So we can have that there, add that there. We can also like make this tower look better. At some point, we can add like other stuff in... To make it look really cool, so we can add in all sorts of stuff. Um, you know, like the design of it can change. Like, remember Luke the Notable? Like, look, Luke the Notable did a really cool um sort of like tower going up to like. I remember that that one was a really cool one. Let's make some um fences or signs. Uh, me stack of sticks. Boom. And a whole bunch of fence gates. All right. And this way we can have water in here now, so we can have one there, one there, one there, there, and then one there. No, not in there. And this will keep all the water from escaping, so we can now just go boom, 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 boom. I believe fence gates can hold hold water back, so yeah. So look, if we put the water up here, I'll show you how the the kelp works. So let's go grab our kelp. Throw that away. So look, boom. So that that is one block of water in there. So let me sh let me show you again. See, so it's one block. We put that there. You can just put kelp, grow it all the way up, and boom, and then break the kelp. And now that's all source blocks. So look, if I grab one from the bottom, that's a source block. So let me just check they're all source blocks again. Yep, they're all source blocks. Boom. There you go. Yeah, look at that. So now we have a bubble elevator going. That's really cool, and we can grab another water, and we can do the other side as well, so... Do it on this side. And I'll do that at the top of the, the, the tower. Oh, you can't place it on, um, that, uh... Grab that. Use my silk touch, alright, boom. I think dirt works, right? Dirt, dirt can... 
I didn't realize that. Okay, boom. Now that should all be. Yo, the, the the shovel's way too powerful. Fill that in, and bam. That should be able to suck us up. So if you open these, yeah, we can even have these open, so you can just like walk in and out. Bam, bam, bam. Go up, and we'll go down. Awesome. So now we have the the bottom sorted out. Before we end up, before we like go into the time lapse, I want to like actually see if we can get to the the world height. So let's start. I don't know here. We're at Y eighty two now. So if we head all the way to the build limit, grab the block. Let's go. All right, boom. Can we make it all the way to the world height? Like I, I hope I hope we do have enough enough blocks. This is gonna look so cool when, when I get like all the statues in, and it's gonna look amazing. All right, keep building up. You can see everywhere. Do I have my um? I do have my spy glasses. Uh, we can look around. Oh, you got we got to when we get up the top, we're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go. What's it called? We're gonna have to put our bread distance to max. Let's do it now, actually, because I'm pretty sure that um. I'm pretty sure that the um will actually be too high. Whoa. The world's just loading in. We'll be too high to actually, like, see the world when we get really high. So, like, right now we're almost at the mountain height. I'll keep building as the world loads in. And now let's look around whilst we have our stake in our hands. We can see our lovely farm area. Did I show you this? Um, that's the bee, the bee farm right there. Made a little dome for them. All the bees. All right. Boom. Keep placing and building up. But we can now look at... Yeah, that's a cool looking area. We have that. I'll look at the, the, the distance of the world. Oh, some big trees. Nice. A nice beach there that would have been helpful earlier to get some sand. Uh, What else? Wow, you can really see a lot of the world. I'm going to just lower it back down though. Because it is lagging me a little bit. Go 15. Let's continue on all the way to the world height. And I didn't tell you what I was going to build up here earlier, but I think I'll tell you now. I want to have like a villager trading center up here because there is an advancement. We're going to advancements. Uh, I don't know which which page is it under. No, no. Uh, what? Did, yeah, star trader. Trade with a villager at the build height. So I want to like put my trading hall up here. I feel, I feel like it would be a really cool place to like have the villagers. You know. Right. Keep building. Yo, it's scary. I feel like if I... I'm just gonna, like, fall. How high is the mountains right now? We, we already passed the mountain height right now. I'm gonna continue to build. Hopefully, you know... Wow, it's re this is really high. It's almost gonna be nighttime as well when we get up here. I, I, wanna ch I don't wanna check the Y level. I just wanna see, like, what level we get to. Alright. Keep building. When we get an elytra as well, it's gonna be so much fun to like jump off of here. If only they kept the change that like you wait they they in the snapshots they were like there was like an idea like oh we could um you wouldn't be able to like lose durability when you like you were just like flying. Only when you use rockets, so like you could have like flown forever basically. The fact that I can't see the rest of the world when I'm up here is crazy. Is that a lava pool there? Oh, those are pumpkins. <laughs> That's so cool. Look, the caves are, like, already fogged out. Let's keep going, though. Wow, this is really this is really high right now. Yeah, this is crazy. This is actually crazy how high you can go. Wow. Oh, we hit the, we hit the build limit. Yeah, this is the build limit. So, the water pool should be there. Now, now let's try putting my red resistance to max. Can I? Can I see further down? I can. So if I have thirty-two chunks, I can actually see the world now. And this is the the, the build height. Yeah, the mountains completely dwarf. Wow. Oh, oh, I see particles. What's that? That's smoke. That's from like 
furnaces or um no campfires, campfires. So that's a village, right? Yo, it's a village. I could see the particles before the. Is that no? That's a, that's a lava pool. There's a village. Yo, I wouldn't be able to see that if I wasn't um up here. Wow, you can see so much of the world. It's crazy. I want to see my farm area from above. I love the magnifying glass with like um. I, all my animals are unloaded, so you can't see them all. Oh, we still have a mountain mansion from up here. Oh, there's the first village. There's the first village I found in uh, episode one. It was on that cliff face there. Yeah, that area was so cool. And then like, there's another village. Okay. Wow, this is such a cool place. Look, look, look at all that ice there. Wow. Yo, there's our house. We can actually see our house from up here. But yeah, I want to bring villagers here. So we're going to now jump off. Okay. What? Can we make the, the, the pool? Come on. I, I, I've done dropper maps before. That was not in the center. That was like there. But we did it. Yo, that is so tall. Let me go to sleep before like mobs try to kill me. But that is so tall. Wow. That is, that is actually crazy. Like. Okay, there are mobs everywhere. Hopefully the, the creepers don't... Well, I'm lagging because I'm at 32 chunks. My computer's dying. No! <sighs> Look at that, though! Oh, there's a baby zombie! It's going to kill me! <sighs> it died, it died. But look at that! Look at that. You have, like, the, the two guards of the giant tower. Alright, so now I'm going to build the rest of the tower in a time lapse because it's going to take forever so I hope you all enjoy that and I'll see you when it's all finished let's go
tower is now complete, and the big reveal, dun 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 dun, and it is huge. This tower took way longer than I thought it would, and it really dwarfs, like, the mountains. When you really get up there, and you look around, and you see the mountains, like, down below, it is crazy. So, coming on inside, and I don't really know what I'm going to do for the inside, so, the water all in here is a bit annoying. I need to, like, sort this out. I'll either, like, put blocks here to, like, block the water into one block gap. Or I'll add floors. I don't know if I will add floors, but I definitely am going to add villages at the top of the, the tower. That's the one thing I am going to do. So I probably do need to put blocks here so that the villagers don't, like, fall out of the water stream and just, like, fall out. And one thing is, you can't really see the outside through the glass. I didn't realize the water would make it, like, pretty hard to see. But I think if you get night vision potions, it should be alright. And you actually go up pretty fast. You go up pretty fast and... You know, using this as an elytra jumping platform will be a lot of fun. I feel like just jumping off here with an elytra will be awesome. And it is actually faster to just jump off than use the the downward water pool. Like, it's just way faster to just jump off. But if I want to transport villagers down at any point, if I ever want to do that, I'll just I'll use them, throw them down here. But yeah, this is really tall. Look, look how tall that mountain is there. And we're like way above it. Like, look how way taller than we are. That is a really cool mountain, by the way. There's so much ores on it as well, because of the new update. Love that mountain. Um, Yeah. But we'll add villages up here. The village, there was a village right there, wasn't there? Around that area. So, we'll have to, like, minecart them over to here. Bring them up here. And then I'm going to add, like, a sort of, like, place up here. So, um, I'll, I'll talk about it more when I do the village video, what I'm actually going to do. But it's going to be really cool when I get the villagers up here. It's going to look amazing. But we won't do that for a few episodes. I want to, like, do some, do some more, like, stuff like getting the... Getting more resources and stuff before we start on villager trading. But, yeah, it's amazing. This is absolutely amazing. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And, yeah, like, thank you for watching and goodbye.